Hey, this is Sherry. I'm here on the red carpet for the upcoming animated movie, Batman vs. Robin. How was working on Batman vs. Robin? It was good. It was scary in some places, but it was good overall. It was fun. It was a fun project. Did you grow up loving Batman or Robin or Nightbreak? Um, mostly Batman, yeah. <laughs> the Dark Knight? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I grew up with the 66 Batman, so I love Adam West, and I watched Super Friends, and growing up, it wasn't until, you know, reading Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns and watching the Tim Burton Batman that, like, I, I kind of, like, really, really, like, loved the character. Oh, wow. I grew up watching that, too, so it's like, oh, my gosh. This looks really fun. It looks very dark. Definitely not for little kids. Oh, no. The, all of our films, at least for this, this line, is all PG-13. So we have the nice thing about for DC Warner Brothers, the partnership, is that we have things that, that run a gamut of all of the kind of genres. So we have things for kids. We have things for older adults. Like, this is for, like, for me as a, like, a geeky <laughs> fan. Like, I, this is what I want to see, you know? And so we kind of we can explore these different kind of stories. So working on this, how did you make it your own to really interpret it for how you see Batman versus Robin? Well, you know, as a director, you have to kind of cherry pick. Like, you, we looked at the source material, we found things that we enjoyed, and then, um, and then I do my own spin. Like, I, you know, I loved, I loved, you know, anime growing up. Uh, I loved, you know, what uh, what Bruce Tim did in Batman the Animated Series, and I kind of did a fusion. Like, it's kind of like an Asian fusion or something. That, and and that's why I kind of came up. That's why my our, my films that I try to do is, I'm not thinking that it's competing with the Marvel animated stuff. I'm thinking it's competing with like the Marvel live action stuff because the uh, the same audience who's watching like Captain America Two, Guardians of the Galaxy, the same people who maybe buy our films. And I'm I'm like, well, I have to kind of raise the bar. I have to kind of push it so that way, you know, it doesn't feel like they're watching something that was, you know, maybe dated, like those done in the 90s. It feels like this is contemporary, this is some cool stuff, and it's, and it's things that I want to see as a, as a, as a fan and in, as, as an audience member. So are you a lover of Dark Knight or of the more cartoony original person that we look like we're around the same age, yeah, I think yeah. we... I'm an Adam West fan, uh, unabashedly, <laughs> and... Uh, and I like some of the darker stuff, but I don't really get darker than, say, Denny O'Neill and Neil Adams. You know, I mean, that's as dark as I want to get. So, so no, I'm not a. I, I you know, the Dark Knight. I, I I I respect it because it existed and helped me get a series because I was working on Batman at the time. But the animation looks really cool. So, what's the influence? Because this looks like the classic Robin outfit. It's not quite as green as I remember. But, you know, they're changing the design. I mean, I changed the design from the comics only in the sense that I'm trying to streamline it for animation or change it to fit the context of the story. So there's story is the main uh, motivation behind any changes to the aesthetic. Batman vs. Robin is definitely an awesome movie. I really like this one. I think it has a really deep concept because... Uh, you know, every kid goes through their stage of uh, wondering, like, who they are, what they want to do for the rest of their life. And this is kind of where Damien goes through that stage. You know, he's starting to fight with his parents. There's that tension going on as he uh, struggles between the Court of Owls and staying with Batman and his innate sense of justice. So, uh, and I'm excited to see uh, which one he chooses. Based on um, a bunch of different material, actually. It's not just one source material. And I was lucky enough that the actors who had played the same roles for me in a previous film were available and could do it again and so the dynamic was kind of there already and they understood the characters a little bit better because they had played them already and that made it really nice it was kind of like a homecoming of, of a family that you chose instead of a family that you got born into it was nice <laughs> that's the best kind of family it is indeed exactly <laughs> so what is it like working with this new sort of storyline it just feels like batman isn't the batman that i grew up with where he was very cartoony very fun the dark knight just seems to have permeated batman and that's pretty much always see with Batman. You know, my, the first Batman I was aware of was the Adam West 1960s series, and so it was a very lighter, cartoonier, even though it wasn't cartoon, it was a very cartoony series. Mm -hmm. When Bruce Timm decided to make Batman the Animated Series and to make it a much darker series, I found that a very interesting idea, and I was glad to be a part of it. And so we've done many different incarnations of Batman, and for example, uh, with James Tucker, I did um, uh, Brave and the Bold, and that was a very cartoony version of it. And so we had a lot of different, we've, it, it's lovely to not just do the same thing. I like doing different kinds of jobs. I like doing a very dark Batman and then a SpongeBob SquarePants. Do you know what I mean? Something really silly. So I like having the combination of things. This sort of reminds me a little bit of Batman Beyond that was on, I think yes. it was WB a couple yeah, years I ago. That too. I directed that too. 
I love that show. I was so mad when they canceled it. I loved it too. I wish they had made more as well. I'm hoping maybe DC might think we might want to reboot that and maybe try to that. start an internet, you know, swell that says we want it and get the fans to say because the fans are very strong if they let people know what they want. So how was working on the new Batman versus Robin? It was uh, it was a fantastic experience. You know, I've been a professional writer for more than 30 years. Writing is not always easy. It's not always fun. This, for whatever magical reason that the gods decreed, was a great fun project from beginning to end. It was just, I just had a great time. Worked with great people. We had wonderful material to pull from, from the Court of Owls storyline and yet build our own story on top of that. And it was a delight, really, from beginning to end.